So I'm going to show you how to change the font in your storefront. And there's a couple things we're going to look at here. We're going to show you how to change just an individual section of your storefront. Like maybe I just want to change this title. Uh, and then maybe I want to change the font everywhere. So that's another option here that we can do. Now, usually when you're kind of like looking at fonts on various other websites, that's sometimes where that inspiration comes from. So what I'm actually first going to show you here is how to take the font from an existing website and figure out what it is and then maybe try to install that on your own site. So in this situation here, I see this how to explore Madagascar. It's very bold. I'm going to right click on this text and go inspect. And this should work for basically every browser, every operating system. They should all have that inspect option. And then right off the bat here, you should see the right, the kind of proper text highlighted how to explore Madagascar. And then the easiest way to figure out what font this is, is to actually click on this computed tab at the top. And now under font family, we'll see Chang'e 1. And then there's what's called a fallback font here. And what that kind of means is that if for whatever reason, someone browsing the site, uh, the font doesn't download correctly to their computer, it'll fall back to cursive, which is a which is a font family that's available on every computer. So there's no chance that they wouldn't have kind of a, a styled font here. Uh, how fonts work is actually, um, they need to be downloaded to the computer if they're not already present on that user's computer. And most people don't have the, you know, the fancier fonts on their computer. So that's kind of why you need a fallback font there. Okay, so what you normally would do is you go to Google and search this up. I'm going to go to Google Fonts because I know this is a pretty uh, good website here with a lot of free fonts. And we're going to search Chang'e 1 in here. And there's actually kind of two versions of it, um, Chang'e and then Chang'e 1. And you'll know that they are, they are kind of the same. This one's just a really thin version. But we'll go ahead and click on this. And I kind of want to um, just see the size of this. So maybe let me just type in what's on my website here. And then just for preview purposes, you can kind of drag this around and like, yeah, that looks pretty good. So what we'll do, we'll click on select this style. And then on the right here, we'll just click on embed. And we're going to grab this link that they give us here. We're just going to copy that. And then we're going to go back into use screen. And we're going to click on advanced and then code snippets. So under this head code section here, um, and I actually have this paste in already, but you would just add this. If you already have code in, just create a new line and add that in there. And you can ignore this error here. That's, that's not a big deal. It's not going to actually do anything wrong. And now we just hit save changes. Okay. So now we're actually downloading the font for the user. Uh, but now we need to choose where to actually display that. So we're going to go back to the customization tab here, we're going to click advanced and then code editor. And before you make changes here, just make sure you back up that theme. Uh, I should show you here. Yeah, just click on this backup button here, create a new backup because fonts are one of those things too, is you're styling things. If you've kind of forgot what it was set to previously, uh, there's no going back unless you uh, have a backup there. All right, so let's click on code editor and then we're going to go down here to the very bottom to the summer triangle. And CSS, it's actually just a CSS file. Your CSS file might be the name of your theme. So just keep that in mind. It's typically the bottom file here, .css. And really easy, we're just gonna create a new line here. And we're gonna use this selector, it says asterisk. And this is actually gonna apply our font styles everywhere in the platform. This is typically not recommended that you style like this, uh, but I just kinda wanna show you how it'll work to style everywhere. And okay, so we'll go back to Google fonts here. We're going to grab this next piece of code. We're going to paste that right into here and then we'll save our changes. Now let's go to our storefront and you always got to refresh and sometimes you got to clear cache too. And there it is. There's my font, but you'll notice, you know, it's, it's actually not the best when reading this in a block of text. It's actually really hard to read. Um, so in this situation, we're going to say, okay, well maybe I just want to style this header text here. So how do we do that? We're going to right click on this and then we, you already did this before. So what you need to do now though, is actually grab this text here inside this class section. So I can typically just double click that and we're going to copy that back to our code editor and we're going to delete this asterisk and we're going to put period and then paste in our class. And so now we're telling the browser to only style this particular 
um, header font. So we'll go ahead and save that. And then when we reload, there it is, just that styled here. Everything else is back to how it was. And you can apply that concept pretty much everywhere. So say I want to style the text within this quote, I could inspect it. And then you'll see here, I have a div. This actually one, this particular one doesn't have a class. I mean, that wasn't the best example, but if I go up here, you can, you, know, you can see that it actually highlights the section that I'm styling. Um, what I could do, testimonial here's a good one so i can just copy this we'll go back here we'll replace our hero banner title we'll save our changes and then we'll refresh this page and there so now this whole kind of section styled that way again though this is one of those examples where it was actually really difficult to read with this particular font but Hopefully you have the good idea of the concepts there and you can kind of figure that on, out on your own to style very specific uh, fonts in very specific places. So thanks for watching.